What's up everybody, in this video I figured I'd do another iPhone 6 and 5S update video for you guys. This week, new information was released regarding the iPhone housing. Basically, based off this article, as you can see, the new iPhone housing has been shown in leaked high-quality images. Now basically, if you guys have watched any of my previous videos, you know I've gone through the specs, the actual design of the phone, as well as the multicolored shell for the iPhone, especially the budget iPhone. Uh, but this actually shows the new shell, which is actually the side of the device and part of the back that's going to be holding the internals. Basically, as you can see here, this is what the budget iPhone will look like. Uh, this is very similar to the mock-ups that were actually released earlier in the week. And this comes from Fanatic Phone, as you can see here, which BGR says is very reliable as they've released a lot of parts so far that seem to be notable uh, and fit well with the other rumors. Basically, this casing will be made out of plastic. It's not going to be considered a cheap iPhone, uh, but it's going to be a little bit cheaper than the iPhone 5S or 6. By no means, it's not going to be uh, cheap. And also, as you can see here, there are more photos. If you scroll down, it looks very, very nice, I think, at least in the plastic. And here's the housing, as you can see. But the main thing about this video that's very interesting that I think is actually kind of cool is Apple's including different color volume buttons and internal buttons, as you can see here, to include with your device. So along with the rumors that they actually will be releasing multicolored back shells, so if they made this shell a different color for the iPhone, especially the budget iPhone, it would be awesome to have different color uh, volume buttons as well and allow the user to customize or pick what device and what version they wanted and what colors, which would be pretty cool and a, di a different step in a uh, different direction for Apple because Apple doesn't usually allow this customization. It may actually be competing with the Moto X, which is supposed to allow customization later this fall. So I do think this is actually very, very reliable and I do think this will probably happen because if people do not want to buy the real iPhone 6 or iPhone 5S, they can just go for the budget one, be able to customize the colors and it will actually compete with the Moto X because the Moto X will allow hardware customization. And I think this will keep the iPhone in check. I think it will make it better and Apple probably will include better features to compete with the Moto X as well as we move into the future. And in terms of the actual iPhone 6 or iPhone 5S, the housing is most likely going to look very similar to this except the background or the back of the device will not be plastic. It will probably be aluminum as it is currently and it will probably be a little bit sturdier. As term, in terms of different colors, it would be kind of cool to see aluminum different colors, but I don't think that will be included in the real iPhone 5S or 6. I think they're going to limit that strictly to the budget iPhone because it will be a little bit uh, cheaper and a little bit more uh, kind of like not tacky, but a little bit more customizable in terms of the hardware. So overall, that was another update on the iPhone 6 and iPhone 5S, guys. The housing has been leaked in these high quality photos from Fnatic Phone along with different color volume buttons. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. For more content, as always, be sure to rate thumbs up and favorite the video as well as subscribe. I upload regular content, so stick around for more on iOS, the iPhone 6 or iPhone 5S or Apple. Also be sure to follow me on Twitter, my website, my Google Plus page, my Facebook page, and my vlog channel in the description. Also great ways to keep up with me guys and I upload I update those on a regular basis as well. And if you're interested in getting iOS or Android apps that are paid for free, go ahead and check out the link in the description, guys. i greatly appreciate it. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for more, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.